one, two. Okay. And Mo, the man from Poland is making his ring walk. The Polish giant, Marusz Ba, Marusz Ba, 6-7 from Poland, undefeated. Undefeated Polish heavyweight, he's coming in with his trainer, Michael Mora. In the main event tonight, this is going to be a very exciting matchup. So let's take it up to our ring announcer, Joe Antonaggi. event 10 rounds of action for the WBC Baltic Heavyweight Championship our WBC representative Mike George our judges overseeing this championship bout Shafiq Rashada Waleska Roldan and Alan Rubenstein and our referee Sparkle Lee Introducing first in the red corner, he comes to us tonight from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. He weighed in at 245 pounds and wears solid white trunks. His professional record in excellent, 23 victories, only three defeats. Please welcome John Hagler. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes to us tonight from Krakow, Poland. He weighed in at 249 pounds, red trunks with white trim. Perfect professional record, 23 victories, no defeats. Please welcome Mariusz Vak. Our referee, Sparkle Lee, has our fighter's final instructions. You already received your instructions. Obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Ten rounds in our main event for the WBC Baltic Heavyweight Championship. George Hansen here, Fox Sports South, GoFightLive.tv with Maureen, the real million dollar baby shape for tonight's main event for the WBC Baltic Heavyweight Championship. Between Mariu Ba and Jonathan Haglin, we begin round one. Oh, Jonathan Haglin, let Mariu Vak know he's here. Easier to fight. Uh, Mariu Vak establishing the jab. There's some big men in that ring right now. There's some big boys. Two big men in that ring, and we have our referee, Sparkle Lee, who's half Jonathan Hagler's size. And uh, it's an intriguing matchup. You have the southpaw versus the tall, lanky, six feet, seven inches Polish fighter who has a great amateur background. Mo, what would you tell Bah, if you were in his corner. Keep that left foot outside of Jonathan Hagler's right. First thing he's got to do. Circle to the left. Stay away from Jonathan Hagler's right hand, his jab. Um, throw your straight rights. Lead with the right. Don't be afraid to lead with the right. That's the one thing I think that when you're, a, when you're an orthodox fighter that you may not be used to. You're used to the jab, and you can jab with, the, with your opponent, but that right hand is, is definitely going to find a home. So he's got to let go of his right hand a little bit. Jonathan Hagler, keeping that jab in Vox's face, um, letting go of his left. And so you're saying Jonathan Hagler should keep that, keep popping that jab. He can keep popping that jab. It seems to be effective. So far, it's, it's working. Um, he's reaching. He's got, he's got obviously, the shorter the shorter arms. Uh, they, I mean, they're both huge guys. But Mati Uzhvak's got the reach. He's got to keep that jab out there, find his distance, use the jab to find the distance so that he can let go of his right hand. And... Uh, See Hagler moving in. 
This first round is a feel-out round for both guys. And the Polish fans start their chant. And Mariusz Vak, let's go with that right hand. <laughs> the Polish contingent, they're in the house tonight. And they're out here to support the Polish giant. You know, Mariusz Vak just, um, just had a son. He just had a little baby. Oh. His last fight. And I know his, his wife is home, possibly watching right now on Go Fight Live. She's in Poland. Good right hand that time by Vaughn. Came right over Hagler's jab. Seems like down to the body. Vaughn doesn't even have to throw. <laughs> his left is kind of going right around Hagler's jab. And you know, uh, Mo, I don't think it's daunting for Hagler. He's used to fighting on the road. Mm -hmm. Coming from North Carolina, there's not too many shows that are held there. So he's constantly on the road. So I don't think it's going to bother him. And we come to the end of round one. And in Boss Corner, we have Michael Moore, a former light heavyweight and heavyweight champ. And uh, speaking with him Thursday at a press conference, they seem to think this is going to be an easy fight based on the game plan and what they've been working on. What are your thoughts on that comment? Well, I think that uh, they have a great relationship. My, uh, Michael Moore told me they have a great relationship, and um, they have an interpreter in the corner. And I could tell the, the alertness and the the, uh, the focus of Mariusz Vak that he's listening to everything that the hand signals Michael Moore is showing him. And, the, uh, and we begin round two. And Va is coming out behind that jab again, so he's definitely following the instructions. Have you ever faced a fighter substantially taller than yourself? Oh, yes. Plenty <laughs> of times. Are you kidding me? I fought girls 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, Absolutely. Why do you think I decided to work so hard on my body shots? <laughs> <laughs> So would you advise Hagler to go downstairs? I mean, yeah, Hagler can go downstairs. He's got to get, you know, got to get inside, muscle his way in. Uh, you don't want to be on the end of, uh, of Mariusz Vak's jab, which it seems right now um, Hagler gets in pretty pretty well. Um, he back, he's backing up. If he's not in range, he doesn't want to be in range of Mariusz Vak's jab. So he's either got to be farther back, but then again, he's not going to score any punches, or he's got to get inside, smother him a little bit more so that he can get the work off. You know, the first two rounds with these big guys, they have 10-ounce gloves on. I mean, these are 200 and, what, 49, you know, pound guys in there. They're a little bit different. You have to. These little guys. <laughs> Huge difference. One thing I know is with Hagler, he's not moving his head. Mm -hmm. Somewhat standing stationary, so he should move his head to try to slip in on that long jab of Bar, who constantly pumping the jab. Nice body shot by Mariusz Vak. Nice right hook to the body. Mariusz Vak's keeping that jab out there. Measuring his distance. I'd like to see him let go of that right hand a little bit more. I feel that that's going to be very effective in this fight. And there it goes. Because he heard me. Uh, <laughs> and I there he goes, he, the jab. I think he has an ear plug in there. He's listening to me. But Hagler comes right back. back. You know, it's interesting. These two guys are fighting for a title, WBC Baltic heavyweight title. And um, I remember when I fought for the NABF title, I forgot I was fighting for a belt. I just went in there and fought. I wonder if these guys are forgetting and just going in there and fighting just to win. You know, I mean, titles on the line, does it make you fight harder? For me personally, I, I fight hard every fight. So I fought hard. And I think these fighters, they come in to fight. They're prepared. Doesn't matter if they were fighting for the WBC Baltic title or the title of New York. They're just coming here to fight. The title's going to make a difference afterwards, but um, they're always in good shape and they're motivated. I see Hagler getting his, uh, getting his range inside. You notice something I, I, I just saw a minute ago. Hagler faded back on the back leg, and he threw that uppercut, and it landed. But he should come forward, turn the uppercut into a straight left, and it probably probably would land, but he's leaning in right there. And you come to the end. Well, you have seen the Polish giant before. 
Here we go for the replay. You see that move that, 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 that Hagler just did? Jonathan Hagler, I was calling Marvin Hagler. He <laughs> parried Vox jab and threw his right right over it. That's a smart move, and it landed. It's a very effective move, guy. That shows Hagler is thinking. Vox can do the same thing, though. Parry Hagler's jab and throw your hook over it. And then let go of that right hand, set it up. You see, Chris, uh, this is uh, Chris Tishka in the corner, the interpreter right there speaking to Vox. Michael Moore told me earlier that he told Chris, just tell me exactly what, tell Vox exactly what I'm saying. Don't change it, don't spice up exactly word for word what I say. And that's good. And we begin round three. We haven't seen much of Sparkle Lee. That means uh, it's been a very clean fight when you don't see the referee as much. And I have to give it to both gentlemen. They're, they're, they're keeping the punches clean and, and fighting well. I love Sparkle in there. She's, she's refed a, a bunch of my fights. I love her to death. She's a, she's a great ref. And I'm just so happy to see her in there right now. You know, that, that womanly presence in there with these two big guys. <laughs> I like that. Sparkle Lee is definitely light on her feet. I've seen her at Madison Square Garden in Atlantic City. And uh, she's a really great ref, terrific referee. Good attempt that time by Hagel for the uppercut. Vop pulls back, misses it by about three inches. I see Vop moving to his left, smart, I'm sure Michael told him. Gotta move to your left, keep moving to your left, fighting a southpaw. Nice right hand by Muddy's Vop. And Hart oh, Hagel. Oh, terrific right hand. Oh, he hurts him. He's hurt, Hagel is hurt. Oh, he's hurt, he's hurt, and he's down. Mo, you must be clear point. You said he should throw the right hand, and the right hand landed. I tell you, the Polish giant has some power, and the fight is over. The fight is over, over. I gotta tell you something. I'm not shocked. Mati Uzvak is very strong. He's been doing his conditioning out there, strength and conditioning out there. Um, Michael Moore training him, obviously, that, uh, Making this this uh this team of uh Michael Moore and, and Mariusz Bach. It's huge. Mo, oh, wow. Hey, Laura listen. said at the press conference it would be an easy fight, and, and here it goes. Hagler sneaks in that straight left. Boom, right over. Right hand, right over top. That Never right hand. Left hook, right hand, uppercut. This is a big heavyweight throwing a variety of punches. Uppercuts, left hook, right hand. I told you. I said this earlier, and I got to say, and I'm not one to say I told you so, but Mariusz Vak has, I mean, the combinations that this guy, big guy throws and the speed that he throws. You know, I mean, he's, and he took some shots from Hagler. You know, but the speed and the, and the, and the power and... Mo, oh, I have to tell you, it's very rare when you see Heavyweight, six, seven, 250 pound heavyweight, throw a jab, right uppercut, left foot, go back down to the body. The variety of punches, most heavyweights just throw one, two, or an occasional left hook. So I have to give it to Maury. He said it was going to be an easy fight. Somewhat doubted him. It turned out to be an easy fight based on what Bob was able to execute. He stuck to the game plan and he was successful. What's somewhat surprising is the the accuracy and the punching power. I love the, the brightness in, in Vox's eyes right now. He's so happy, he's so proud. What, I mean, you know, he's got a baby at home, his wife, they're watching him on... on, on, on. GoFightLive.tv, Fox Sports South. I tell you, it's a terrific victory for him. And uh, winning this WBC Baltic Heavyweight Championship He's taking it to the new level. So let's send it up to our ring announcer, Joe Antonacci. Boxing fans, before we go to our official time, did everybody have a great time tonight at the fights here at Brick City Boxing in Newark? How about a big round of applause for our promoters who did a great job, both Prize Fight and Global Boxing did a great job. Earl. And boxing fans, the time, one minute and 22 seconds of round number three. 
Your referee, Sparkle Lee, reaches a count of 10. Your winner by knockout. And now the WBC Baltic heavyweight champion from Krakow, Poland, Mariusz Bach. Boxing fans, on behalf of Global Boxing and on behalf of Price Fight, thank you very much for coming out. Have a good night and a good weekend. Thank you, everyone. Wow, what an exciting night of boxing tonight in Essex County. It, it was totally amazing. And Mo, let's talk about the main event. We saw the Polish giant, Mariusz Ba win the WBC Baltic Heavyweight Championship with a terrific knockout of tough Jonathan Hagler from North Carolina. Mo, describe the action for us. You know, it was a great fight. Um, I'm happy to see Michael Moore in Mariusz Vak's corner. I feel that that's a great, that's a match made in heaven right there. And um, I feel that Mariusz Vak came out here. He, uh, he established his jab at the beginning of the round. He had to understand the, the, the workings and the dynamics of fighting a southpaw. He did, he adjusted, and uh, victory was granted with a beautiful straight right hand. You know what was surprising to me, Mo? It's the variety of punches, his power. I saw a big six, seven heavyweight go to the body, uppercuts, left hooks, right hand. He knew when he had his man hurt and he finished him. You think that's from the tutelage of Michael Mora? Oh, absolutely. I think that um, Mariusz Vak has this incredible uh, speed for a 6'7 heavyweight. He's, uh, he throws punches in bunches. He throws combinations. And I believe Michael Moore has just, uh, is working on him on perfecting this, uh, this, this combination and, and repertoire that he has. Let me ask you a question. What's next for the Polish Giants? Well, now winning the <laughs> WBC Baltic heavyweight title. He's in the rankings. And... Uh, you know, he's, uh, he, I'm sure he's going to be climbing up the ladder. They positioned him. Global Boxing Promotions has uh, positioned him in prize fight boxing for, uh, you know, to, to just keep moving up the ladder. So uh, I'm sure that you're not going to see, this is, the, this is only the beginning of Mariusz Vak and uh, Michael Moore and uh, Global Boxing Promotions. And it's going to be a great ride. And I'm, 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 I'm going to enjoy the journey. And let's talk about the semi-wind-up or the co-main event. It was a dynamic fight tonight between... Danny Little Mac McDermott and Osnell Prince Charles. It was six rounds of toe-to-toe -to -toe action. You have both fighters going back and forth. Talk to me about that fight. You know, that was a great fight. I mean, both fighters came here to fight. I loved how they both met in the middle of the ring before each round. They both came out. It was fought in a phone booth. Um, you know, is it questionable? I had a lot of people uh, say to me, uh, you know, early on, the, the scores, I thought it was a lot closer. I thought it could have been a draw. Um, you know, that was, it was tough. Uh, you know, taking that point away from that fighter is difficult. But you know what? At the end of the day, it was a great fight. And uh, I know that's not the end of Danny McDermott. He'll be back for sure. And, and I love the action. Both fighters came to fight. McDermott came to fight. There were ebbs and flow back and forth, depending on where you are. You were seated. But I look at the fight and I say to myself, wow, I would love to see Global Boxing have a rematch, but make it an eight-rounder. McDermott deserves that. Hey, it's possible. I, I'm sure you know. I'm sure we're going to sit down and speak to Danny after the fights and, and see where he wants to go now and, uh, and see if we can make that fight happen again. I'm sure he does too. But we'll have to look at, you know, um, whether the, you know, the, 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 I mean, I've seen De La Hoya use that move, pushing off the punches. I don't necessarily think it was a headbutt. Um, I, I think it was a little bit of annoyance uh, on, the, on the part of, of, of um, Danny McDermott uh, and uh, Osnell Charles constantly grabbing him. And it, it was an exciting night of boxing. We had fighters from eight different countries. We had Scotty Bur Burrell from Jamaica scoring a knockout. It was a terrific night of boxing. Fans came out. It was a family affair. We saw everyone from all walks of life here tonight. I had such a wonderful time. I can't think of a better way to spend a Saturday than at ringside with my co-host, the real million-dollar baby, the NABF featherweight champion, Maureen Moshe Mo, I had such a wonderful time. I hope we can do it again. Thank you. I learned so much tonight by working with you. Thank you so much, George. It was really an honor to work with you, and I look forward to doing it again. To everybody at home, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great night. See you next time.